This landscape may look idyllic, but something important is missing. There are no large predators in Mountain Zebra National Park, which was established some 70 years ago. But that's about to change. Cheetahs will once again hunt these grounds. Researcher Kelly Marnawick is working with two males that are being relocated to the park. Named Batman and Robin, the dynamic duo will restore the park's predator-prey balance while helping out some of South Africa's wild game farmers. The Devilt Wild Cheetah project started in the year 2000 as a result of conflict experienced between farmers and cheetahs. The farmers approached the vault with their problems with cheetahs and asked them to please come up with solutions to the conflict. To better understand the conflict, researchers have been monitoring the cheetahs' movements. By outfitting the animals with a GPS cell phone collar, Kelly can follow their routes on her computer. And from this website, we can then see where our cheetahs are walking and where they've been, even, even when we couldn't find them or see them. Regular updates show when a cheetah trespasses on a farm. And you can see these brown lines here represent farm boundaries. And you can see how easily she's moving in and out of game fencing. As a last resort, when a cheetah causes too much damage on a farm, it must be captured and relocated. The problem cheetahs get a thorough veterinarian checkup. Once finished with the preparations, the team sets off across country to the cheetah's new home. After arriving at Mountain Zebra National Park, the rangers put Batman and Robin in an enclosure called a boma. Here they acclimatize to the local surroundings, and the locals acclimatize to them. I have to say, when we first brought them here, they arrived here and we put them in the boma. We had a line of springbok lined up on the other side because they didn't really know what was going on. And the monkeys were cha 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 cha. They know now that there's a predator in the area. After several months, it's time to release the cheetahs into the park. The rangers tipped Batman and Robin out of their enclosure with a carcass. But this will be their last hand-fed meal. From now on, they will hunt their own prey. Park rangers use radio collars to monitor the cheetahs closely. But within a few days, the cats slip into stealth mode and go off the radar. Next. However, some grizzly remains suggest the males are adapting well. As for the zebras and other game, their idyllic life may be over. But the picture of a healthy ecosystem is looking more complete. Sponsored by National Geographic Mission Programs, taking science and exploration into the new millennium.